Handsome young boy carrying an ice block has just turned 15 years old this year. Because of his poor family background, he dropped out of school early and earned money through manual labor. Wherever he went, people looked down on him. But no one could have imagined that he would become a billionaire who shook the United States. And his wealth originated from this newspaper. The newspaper published a person named Andrew Carnegie, who also dropped out of school early to earn money. At the age of 12, he started delivering telegrams to people. And he also endured the contempt of those wealthy children. But in the end, he became a billionaire. Seeing this, the boy swore to the heavens and those disdainful eyes that he would also become a billionaire. Back home, the boy took out the newspaper and told his father, I want to become a billionaire. And his father replied, Remember this, kid, you won't have money. You can only become a certain kind of person, a lower class person. That's how my father taught me. So that's how I can teach you. Listening to his father's unreasonable nonsense, the boy remained silent, looking at his sick mother. He didn't want to live a miserable life like his father, unable to even afford medicine for his mother. He decided to go out and make a living because he knew that only by making big money could he save his mother. But what he didn't know was that once he left, he would be separated from his loved ones forever. The boy didn't have money to buy a train ticket, so he secretly climbed onto a moving train. And so, when he woke up, he found himself in Texas, where he jumped off the train before it reached the station. He was a bit lost and didn't know where to go, so he followed the crowd to a small town. There happened to be a farmer recruiting workers in the town. To solve the problem of food, the boy desperately squeezed to the front, and tried his best to recommend himself to the farmer. But the farmer wanted someone strong, so the boy turned around and hugged the fat guy next to him to prove himself. The farmer laughed at him, but seeing his enthusiasm, he decided to take him along. On the farm, the boy met his lifelong best friend, Gus who was also a struggling young boy of the same age. Gus was originally born into a wealthy farmer's family, but due to economic depression, he had to work for others to make a living. His dream was to revitalize his ancestral occupation and become the biggest farmer in Texas. These two young souls, equally destitute and plagued by fate, developed a bond, encouraging each other. At night, as they watched the workers gathered together to play cards, the boy fell into deep thought. He felt that if he relied solely on manual labor, he would never become a billionaire in his lifetime, and he would end up wasting his time like these people. So he found the farmer and directly asked him, I want to know how to be as rich as you. The farmer told him that there are many conditions for success, but only by becoming a leader in the field can one succeed. This awakened the boy, and he asked the farmer, if we finish the work ahead of time, can you save money? The farmer said, yes. Then the boy said, tomorrow, I will finish the work, and you can give me a portion of the saved money. What do you think? The farmer smiled and replied, I admire you but you won't be able to finish it. The next morning, when the others were sluggish and getting up for work, the boy was already gone. He had started working at 3 a.m. and had already figured out the workflow. He also assigned tasks to his fellow workers, so that one person dug the holes while another person installed. Just like a factory assembly line, the farmer watched him with satisfaction. Their efficiency greatly improved, and they finished the work ahead of schedule. The boy received extra wages, his first bucket of gold, $30. Upon receiving the money, the boy's first step was to send $20 back home to buy medicine for his mother. And it was at this moment that the boy encountered the most crucial opportunity of his life, 